Hey guys, welcome to my bookshelf. As you might know, I'm a huge book nerd, studying English and creative writing and want to be an author. Kind of comes hand in hand with reading lots of books, but it hasn't been sorted or arranged since I went to university, which I've now finished, so that was three years ago. So I thought today I'd just give it a bit of a rearrange, show you around it a bit, you know, have some fun. Okay, so currently I have the books in alphabetical order by the author's second name. And then I have series, like books by the author and series put in chronological order of the stories, I believe. At least I have with Sandra Clare's books. I don't know about the rest. And I do want to keep this style, like this ordering that I have. But there are some books that I'm going to be getting rid of. And I also just want to pack everything in a little bit tighter. Because clearly last time I rearranged my bookshelf, I didn't. The third thing I also want to do is, so currently, these top three shelves are all books that I've read. And then the next two are books that I haven't read. But in the two that I haven't read, there are books that I've begun and have bookmarks in them. But then I've put them in the haven't read section. So I'm going to have move those into their own little section. Probably at the beginning of the haven't read section because I haven't finished them. Also, yes, I do start books and then start another. I keep many books on the go at a time. I usually have my main book that I'm reading at that period. So at the minute I'm reading Queen of Air and Darkness, but then I also have my special edition of Game of Thrones that I am part way through, I believe, etc. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> I don't know why one copy of Game of Thrones is in the red, have read section when I haven't read it. I don't know why that's there. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I have removed a section as you can see here. That's all empty. And I have a pile of books that I'm getting rid of. It's majority, well, all of them, are texts that I've studied and now that I've finished studying, don't want. So a lot of them have notes in them and stuff, so I might have to do something about that. But there is one that <laughs> I cannot in good faith sell. I don't know what I'll do to it because I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell on here. No, you can't really see it. But um, I studied this book during my A-levels and the cover completely fell off. So a girl in my class had to tape it back on. Very good job. She did an amazing job. But it's fallen apart. We'll see what I do with those books. But now this little section Oh, by the way, I use this to separate my sections, but the beginning of this next section can be books I've begun. Okay, so there we go. My four books that I have begun reading and not yet finished. And who knows if I will anytime soon. But I want to put something in the little gap here that you can't really see to separate them up. I mean, that works. My little duck teddy. Lottie. Now I'll just move everything up and have it all sorted. Okay, so I've moved them all up. I am going to add my dissertation to the 
end section at the very end there you can't really see but where there's a few tall books that's miscellaneous stuff that like i've written or that is just an anthology thing that my school gave me just random stuff like that so my dissertation can go there now for the decorations all my miscellaneous crap first of all i want to put my dice box underneath some of the books but it has to be under a section of shorter books so i think i'm gonna go around the Sarah J Maas, Marissa Meyer section, because there's quite a few books there that are quite short. There we are, I think that looks cute. Next I've got this 18 that I got for my 18th birthday that's signed by a load of family members and I'll put that on the top shelf. Very delicate because it's old, because <laughs> I'm now 21. Okay, next I have this little clock. It doesn't work, but it's a clock that comes in a little suitcase. It's really cute. Put that on there. A lot of the stuff is just going to randomly go on somewhere at this point. This box, right, look at it. I might insert the photo I have and put the title of the show. But I was watching a show on Netflix that's kind of like uh, survive the, these games kind of thing. I think it's Japanese, I'm not sure. But it's basically a thriller kind of thing where people have to survive these games. And yeah, I was watching the last episode. And I won't, I won't say it in case people want to watch it. But there's playing cards inside a box. At least I think that's what was in the box, I can't remember. Either way, I was watching this thriller, sat in my room, and this bitch ass brought out this box and I was like I like that I own that box my box has some random crap in it a gemstone in a bag I think this is a wish yeah you can't really see it um, you know dandelions and how if you blow on them, you can make a wish for a present one year. My aunt gave me a matchbox with a dandelion in a little jar, and it's a wish. It's really cute. Uh, and then I just have a little fossil. That's what's in mine, but, you know, apparently, I'm in a thriller. I'll put it in front of the call, because that's my closest book to a thriller that I own. It just has jewellery in it. Just a tub of miscellaneous so that can go lower down because I don't want to see it and then we have some lovely pearls oh, some lovely pearls that my nan gave me these can go up with my jewellery at the top I have one of these cats that the arm goes uh, my sister bought it for me it's solar powered apparently but I don't let sunlight into my room that's not a thing so it just stays on my bookshelf Again, I'll put it lower down. It's not highly my aesthetic. Don't tell her I said that, but I appreciate it. A picture of me with a child. You can go near the beginning because I'm vain. I've got this. It's a Christmas decoration. Also a box. There's nothing in it. I never really knew what to do with it. A huge thing of my decorations on my bookshelf is just crap I didn't know what to do with. So it lives on my bookshelf. Again, this one can go quite low down. And then I just have some miscellaneous weird little things. This is a corgi and it has a little dog house. But I think they're cute. They can go on the third shelf. Oh, there was also a cat that was hidden. She can go with them. Got a little dolphin. Um, they can also go with those guys. Why not? And then last but not least is two of my favourite decorations. I have this Alice in Wonderland quote on a plaque. You are meant to hang it on a doorknob, but I hang my coats on my doorknob. And it, the handles to the bookshelf are like very short and just like little circles. So it wouldn't stay on. So I just stand it up in my bookshelf. It says, imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality. So, and then I have a dragon with a sword because if... People have watched my dice video, you know, I'm obsessed with dragons. 
I have my 60 pound dragon statue here. Yeah. <laughs> the dragon obviously at the top next to the 18 and then just because the bottom shelves are looking kind of empty I'll put the imagination thing um, near the bottom the bottom shelf of my bookshelf is just crap <laughs> like it it's just storage I one thing about this room it's a lovely room at the minute it is full of boxes and stuff because I was just got back from uni as I've said about a million times, but it has like no storage space. I have two drawers, that bookshelf, and a little miniature shelf, and then my windows now. <laughs> like there is no storage in this room, so it's just stuff at the bottom. I'll shut the doors, and you can have a far away view. And then I will bring you in for a close up. There we go. I hope you enjoyed. Obviously this is not permanent. I'm going to be moving again soon. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. <laughs>